About a week ago, DeepMind published a paper about AlphaTensor. AlphaTensor is a novel AI model which is intended to find new algorithms for fundamental math. And actually, it is capable to discover those new algorithms way faster than we humans do. After reading this paper and seeing the results, I can tell you guys that it's a really big deal. Because for the first time, one of the most fundamental algorithms of computing has been made more efficient. And this was done by AI. As some of you guys may know, before my electrical engineering degree, my first diploma is in computer science. And back then I was studying data structures and algorithms, and this was challenging. However, discovering new algorithms, it's even more difficult. One of the most important algorithms for AI, another field of science today, is matrix multiplication. It's used everywhere in engineering. And that's because all types of data can be represented as matrices. Images can be represented as matrices. And also complex physics problems can be simulated with matrices. And of course, matrix multiplication is also fundamental to the machine learning itself. Now, just imagine, if this algorithm is so fundamental and we can achieve 5% or 3% speed up, it's already a big deal because we can speed up thousands of everyday computing tasks. And this means that we will be able to save a lot of time and computing resources. The goal of DeepMind's AlphaTensor AI is to find the most efficient, the shortest way to multiply two matrices. A matrix is simply a grid of numbers. Multiplying two matrices together usually means multiplying the rows of one matrix with the columns of the other. This sounds pretty easy, right? But things are getting complicated when we are trying to find the fastest way to do that. And that's because there are more ways of multiplying these two matrices than there are atoms in the whole universe. If we compare it to the game of Go, the number of possible moves in the matrix multiplication game is 30 orders of magnitude larger. When I want to multiply two 2 times 2 matrices in a classical way, I usually need 8 multiplication steps. And now you may think that 8 multiplication steps is a must and there is no way around it, but actually that's not the case. In 1969, German mathematician Volker Strassen surprised the world because he found a way to do this with just 7 multiplications. Just one multiplication less may not seem like a big deal, but if you multiply 1 billion matrices, it means we saved 1 billion multiplications. The idea is that we want to come to as few multiplication operations as possible. The thing is that at hardware level, operations such as addition or subtraction, which is basically addition, takes much less time and resources, while multiplication is very slow and energy consuming. If we compare the cost of a multiplication operation, it's like 20 to 40 to 100 times higher than an addition. And this means when we deal with large matrices, like you will see later on in the video, we save a lot of time and compute resources. I mean, they were able to achieve about 5% of speed up. Now, how these new efficient algorithms are discovered? For this, DeepMind developed the Tensor algorithm, which is intended to find the shortest combination of actions for multiplying matrices. What excites me the most is the algorithm behind the algorithm. Basically, it turns this problem into a three-dimensional board game. It's a single-player game based on Alpha Zero, and they trained Alpha Tensor to play this game. At each step, agent selects how to combine different entities of the matrices. It generates thousands of different algorithms for each matrix size, and then picks up the most efficient. AlphaTensor searches for potential algorithms using Monte Carlo tree search. Monte Carlo tree search is a method for searching game trees by choosing random moves. Let's say you are now at the beginning of the game, and here you can make different choices, you can make different moves. And then each of your moves will open up new moves, and the next one, and the next. And then you have the policy and the value functions. And these are very important because they will be guiding you through these different moves. And they will suggest you which move is worth taking and which one you should definitely skip. Basically, Alpha Dancer will be performing this random search. 
and then learning from it and updating the probabilities of the search. And when you finish the game, based on your result, the value will be fed back to the neural network in order to teach it to make better predictions. Actually, it's more than just winning or losing the game. It's much more detailed. And that's because we are optimizing for a certain thing, right? We are optimizing for the shortest way of multiplying the matrices. For every step taken, we provide a reward of minus one to encourage to find the shortest path to zero tensor. Now, what is interesting? Here is the result table. It's basically a comparison between previously known matrix multiplication algorithms and the ones discovered by Alpha Tensor. In this table, size basically describes the problem. For instance, if you see 2, 2, 3, it means a 2 times 2 matrix needs to be multiplied with 2 times 3 matrix. The result is basically the number of multiplications or the number of terms in the decomposition of the tensor. Best rank column refers to the best result till now, and the alpha tensor rank refers to the rank obtained with alpha tensor. What we can conclude from here is that alpha tensor does manage to find better algorithms than humans. For instance, the best known algorithm of multiplying 4 times 4 matrices together up to now required 49 multiplications, and alpha tensor found a way to do it with just 47, so it's two multiplications less. That will be much faster. In the case of multiplying five times five matrices, Alpha Tensor found a way to do it with 96 multiplications instead of 98. And when multiplying 11 times 11 matrices, Alpha Tensor managed to do it with 896 multiplications instead of 919. Overall, it was able to beat the best known algorithms for more than 70 different sizes of the matrix. In general, from this plot, you can see the trend that the higher matrix sizes we go, the higher the improvement. And that's really cool. What is interesting, up to now I was emphasizing, highlighting that the number of multiplication steps will reduce. But actually, when we apply this fast algorithm recursively on large matrices, not only the number of multiplications, but also the number of additions will reduce as well. I will not go into the details, but it's amazing and you can prove it with hand calculations. Do it. Here is the Alpha Tensor network architecture. It's pretty much a typical architecture for reinforcement learning. What actually happens? We feed the input to the neural network, which is a tensor and the history of tensors. It goes into the body and then to the policy hat and the value hat. If you want to get more into the details, if you're excited, hopefully you're excited, you can download this paper. I will link it below. It's available for free. This work definitely changes the way how we think about the algorithmic discovery, right? It's already outperforming the human capabilities and soon we will come to more efficient algorithms in every field of science. And that's because matrix multiplication is at the core of all computational tasks, like in computer graphics, digital communication and scientific computing. I'm just thinking, what if one of the next field medals will be won by AI. You know, the Nobel Prize in math doesn't exist, so field medal is sort of equivalent. So what if it will be won by AI? Actually, off topic, but before I forget, I'm in the process of organizing an interview with DeepMind team. It's very exciting, but it takes a lot of time, so hopefully beginning of next year it will be available. Make sure to subscribe not to miss this video. Another interesting fact from this paper. After DeepMind found the shortest way of multiplying two matrices, they added another criteria. Basically, they added a reward for AI in order to force the tool to optimize for um, runtime on a particular hardware. Basically, the algorithm will be getting another reward after it found the correct solution in the fastest way possible on this particular hardware. Here, they've used NVIDIA V100 GPU and Google Tensor V2 GPU. On this diagram, you can see the comparison of Alpha Tensor algorithm with the fastest Strassen Square algorithm. Basically, they proved that Alpha Tensor is able to find faster algorithms for particular hardware without any prior knowledge about this hardware. And another takeaway, it's actually a good idea to pre-train an algorithm for this particular hardware. 
And it seems like these are just the first, very first results. And over time, even more efficient algorithms will be found. I think this work will inspire others to use AI for algorithmic discovery. It actually means that now we're in the beginning of a new era, where mathematicians will be assisted by AI. And because more efficient algorithms can be found, and this will be making computation more efficient, this is a kind of positive loop. Another interesting fact. This paper was submitted one year ago. So basically now we got access to the state of the art from one year ago. And one year in machine learning is sort of eternity. You know, I just wonder what's going on right now, which we have no idea about. We're living in very exciting time, guys. DeepMind put its computer program to the test against one of the brightest minds in the world and won. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to share it with your friends and support my channel at Patreon. The link will be below. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful weekend.